right, so this is for a shot idea. Uh, like him moving from one side of the screen to the other and the way he's doing it. The ogre is half spline, half step. The kid is all spline, but I need to work on his eyes and lip sync. Let me know what you think and if you have any better ideas on the shot. Let's take a look. Leaving so soon. Hmm. I, I was just going to... I, I have to... I was trying to... Sneak away. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, no, no. I like children. For breakfast? Hmm, cool. Okay, okay, hold on. My immediate... Um... What's the word? Reaction to this was, this is a... It's a bummer that he is so far away. I wish that at this point he was already... Head here. You know, her. And overlapping terms of shapes. Obviously my drawing skills are so it doesn't really help anything, but you know, imagine that's your ogre. Rawr. But he is towering closer and with shapes over the kid. Which is a problem because I, I understand that you would have to introduce him sooner or you have to move faster to get into this. Leaving so soon. Hmm. Uh but you could, you could have it here, right? The way you do it, leaving so soon. And he keeps moving until, hmm. And the hmm is just the end of the pose where you leave this head maybe here, but you just, you know, he finishes all this by moving over, pivoting off the head, meaning that he is the way I described it over there, big, right? I was just going to, I, I have to, I was- Now for the kid, it feels like that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Then play up this more, the uh, the steppy steps. Because then it feels like it's, oh, it's IK legs and it's, you know, more in typical in terms of performance where people don't move legs. And there's so much stuff in the, in the body. But, you know, at this point, he wants to retreat. Like, you would have to take a step and turn his route so the feet are pointed this way so he's ready to go backwards. Like you want You want to play more with him moving in the scene. Just going to. I, I have to. I was trying to sneak away. Yeah. <laughs> now I do like this. I love this, right? That he turns around, and he looks over, like that. That's great, and it's so close. Like I love that. I understand that this is more effective because. Because if you have it the way I said it. This would be diminished, right? Because it wouldn't be, it would be the same thing. You're just kind of rotating around. Plus, you wouldn't be able to see the face. Okay, how about this? I got an idea. Sneak away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, no, no. I like children. For breakfast? This is weird. The only thing that's really weird to me is that you're doing all this. And then he does this crazy jump over the camera, over, and I'm looking into craziness. And once he's flying this out, there's so much movement and we're missing everything. I would personally stay within here, where instead of this, he just gets up higher. He pushes his hands up, so his head ends up being here, really towering over him. And then he can open his mouth and saliva can come out, you know, and he talks about eating. That's fine. So what I would do, since, since I love this, Love all that, right? Especially so close. What I would do is do this entrance, right? And then actually, it's right now, right? This is the camera. This is the kid. And the ogre's kind of like that and does a turn to be like that, right? I am proposing that you enter like this and then you actually go towards the camera. That's your thing. And I know it is going to mess you up because then... You have to make, take extra steps to get into this, but that's okay. I think you can just start a bit earlier and just make, you know, bigger strides and make this. I think you can make this work. And I think that way it just feels, this just feels weird. Like the, the toe is pointing out this shape here, just his hand coming out. Just pose wise, I'm just not, it's not that effective. And I think what you could do, imagine he comes in, 
And we want to look at the kid anyway when he, when he does all this, because the ogre doesn't really do much. And imagine if he turns more towards us, imagine you got this, like this head would be here, cut off by this massive, massive arm, shoulder, you know, you know, I don't know if that makes sense. Like you have this, looking at his back and his, you know, his ass and arm come down. But it's this massive thing where um, it gives you a feeling of this. Hold on. So I got this here. Remember that. That. That's the idea, right? So that at that point, you have that where he is towering over him and all you have are his eyes. Then he can always still readjust a bit and he can move over a little bit to so that you can see um hold on let me get this back so that you can see all the act and everything right it can be this mole and it can have a little bit of a sidestep so that the silhouette will be more like that so you do see all the awesome acting that you do here but i think this could be a really great use of space and contrast and then was that way because it's more towards us like we don't see his eyes at all that that's going to be a problem and by having him more towards us, you can bring the eye line more towards the camera. We can see better acting. Then he can move over and do all this thing here. And then I would just tweak the ending and not do this crazy jump. All right. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.